Welcome back guys. It kind of looks like a fretboard now, uh, but we don't have any frets yet. So let's add some frets. And I noticed that uh, I actually don't want to call this note string. It doesn't really make any sense. So I'm just going to rename it to, uh, to note fret instead, like this. And I am going to just replace all of this. Okay, so I just changed the class name to note fret instead. Let's go back to our styles and let's add some frets. Um, let's start by targeting note fret. And inside here, we want that to display as flex as well. And we, let's see, let's set it to flex one so it spans evenly. And we are going to give it a border on the right. And that's basically what's going to be the fret. Uh, so let's give it a 10 pixel wide solid. And I'm going to save that. Okay, so we get some frets here. Doesn't look too good. We have total black frets. It's usable, but let's make them look a little bit nicer. Let's give it a border image. And it's going to be a linear gradient. And we're going to take it to the left. And we're going to start with this color. And then we're going to go to this color. And then we're going to go back to this color. And I'm going to add this to make it look good. This should look pretty good. And it does not. That's because I'm missing a T right here. I save that. Okay, so now you can see it looks a bit more metallic up here. Uh, it looks like a real fret. So, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Let's uh, let's continue. We want inside every fret. Let's go and inspect this. We want to place uh, a dot with the note inside here later on. So I want to first of all I want to justify content to center. Justify content, give it center. You cannot see that yet because we haven't yet created the dots, but uh, it's just for good measures so we don't forget it later on. Align items, center. So they will be center horizontally and vertically uh, here when they show up later on. And then I am going to position this relative as well. Relative. Like that. Okay, so we talked about this doesn't really look like a, a zero thread. So let's make that a different color. And we have all of these note frets here. Uh, and let's take the first child of each and every single one of them and make it a little bit different. So let's target note fret one more time. And let's uh, target the first child. Like this. Let's go to background that is different. Uh, something that looks good would be something like this. Now you can see it already changed up here. And that is, by the way, the reason that we moved out this uh, a little bit. Uh, the shadow from the string. So it doesn't give any shadow here. I can actually I'm going to show you guys if I just set it to 10 pixels or something you can see that doesn't look good because the color is not a color that is similar to the background so let's set it back to 76 and because we set it to 76 I want to give it a minimum width of 76 So it always looks like this. Actually, the border should probably be a little bit different because this doesn't look like, this is usually not like a normal looking uh, fret. So let's make it a little bit different. Let's give it, let's give it a border right. Let's make it a little bit thicker, first of all. Border right. 
Let's make it 12 pixels. Solid. And let's set it to flex. Grow. Zero. And flex string zero. So it always stays the same width. And if I take this and I drag it out here, it'll always, all the other frets will change the size, but this one will always stay the 72 pixels. So, um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Then the next thing we're going to do here, we're going to give it a border image as well. So it looks a little bit different. I'm going to type out border image. And let's... It's going to be a linear gradient one more time. And it's going to be to left. Let's see if I can spell it correctly this time. And let's start at the, this color. Then move on to a white color. And back to this light gray. So now it looks different you can see the difference between this one and the other frets so that looks a bit more realistic I think let's continue and let's make some dots because remember we want some dots to show up when we hover over um, the strings the different notes here so we can see what notes we are hovering over and we're gonna use another pseudo element for that we're gonna use the before so we're gonna take the note fret and we're going to target before. And we need a, some content here. And let's just select some random note. I don't know if it's random or not, but uh, let's select a C. We have content C. And you can actually see it's uh, behind the strings here. So let's give it a width of around 33 pixels and a height too. 33 pixels as well because we want it to be circles and in order to make them appear like circles we're going to have a border radius of 50 percent and we also want to place them in the middle so i'm going to add a line height and set it to 33 pixels like the width and the height of it um, and then i want the text in the middle so text align center Like this and what else do we want we want a background of course and my favorite background is teal so now you can see it it's behind the strings though so um, so that's why we're gonna have to give it a set index two just to move it on top there that's much better and I think it looks better if the color is lighter. So let's give it a color of light gray. That looks okay. And uh, that looks pretty good. Uh, we can dynamically later on, we can change this to other letters, to other note names. We can see if we have room enough for C sharp. We do, and let's say a D flat, and that works as well. So that's what we have so far. Um, let me just give it an opacity of 0 0.5 so we can see through. Uh, and that's because we still need something on this fretboard. Um, usually on guitars and basses and string instruments, you have a fret mark uh, on the 3rd, the 5th, the 7th, and the ninth fret. And then when you get to the 12th fret, you have two marks. So we're going to set that up in the next video. So join me in the next video.